hi guys welcome to another electronic clinic video tutorial today's tutorial is about an automatic visitors counting system using infrared sensors watch my previous tutorials for the wiring and information about the plc and sensors we will be using the same connections we have four infrared sensors connected with x0 x1 x2 and x3 Using these four sensors, we will be implementing the most efficient bi-directional visitor counting system. Before we start the programming, first let's talk about the sensors, installations, and develop a logic. This will help us in the programming. Let's suppose we have a room, and this room has only one door. So the same door will be used as the entrance and exit. So at this point, one thing is clear that first we will have to find the direction whether the person is entering into the room or leaving the room so it means we need we will be needing two sensors for this to find the direction so let's open a 3d model designed in solidworks if you want to learn solidworks designing watch my tutorials i have so many tutorials on solidworks designing so let's open the 3d design this is the door frame and currently it has two sensors so these are the two infrared sensors one sensor is connected with x0 which is this one and the other sensor is connected with x1 which is this one for example i'm that person and right now i'm entering into the room so first of all the sensor connected with x0 will be activated and then the sensor connected with x1 will be activated and a value in the register will be incremented and similarly if i'm leaving the room first of all the sensor connected with x1 will be activated and then the sensor connected with x0 will be activated and a value in the register will be decremented so far everything is just fine it's incrementing and decrementing the values so this system would work fine if i directly enter into the room or i directly leave the room so this is one situation now let's discuss another situation for example i am entering into the room and sensor connected with x0 is activated and then i stand there for a while for example i stand here for a while and decide not to enter and go back now what will happen the sensor was already so the sensor was already activated if during this time another person decide decided like to leave the room while he will be leaving the room the sensor x1 this one so the sensor x1 will be activated at this point the system will behave in an abnormal way instead of decrementing the value it will increment the value why think for a while why because sensor connected with x0 was already activated and then after that sensor connected with x1 was activated which is same as if someone is entering into the room so this is a serious problem and we have to fix this the same thing will uh, applies for the person leaving the room and then in the middle he or she decides not to leave the room and go back so this problem can be solved by using two more infrared sensors these two sensors will be used for resetting like for example let me add two more sensors so now these two sensors will be used for resetting let's discuss how these reset sensors will help us solve this problem for example i'm entering into the room so first of all the reset sensor while i'm entering into the room first of all the reset sensor will be activated as soon as it is activated it will reset all the coils which were set during the previous operation so then after that sensor connected with x0 so first of all this one will be activated which will reset all the previous uh, operations or, or all the previous coils which were set during the previous operation and then x0 will be activated so the sensor which is connected with x0 will be activated now at this point if i enter into the room it will increment 
value in the register and if I decide to go back then during this time the reset sensor will be activated for example I'm at this point and I decide to go back so while I'll be leaving the room the reset sensor will be activated which will reset all the coils so the same thing applies for the person leaving the room so that's it now we will have to convert this logic into programming so these two reset sensors will help us in solving this problem so we'll be using total uh, four infrared sensors the one is connected with x0 x1 x2 and x3 so now let's start the programming so this is the program one sensor is connected with x0 and another another one with x1 and the reset sensors are connected with x2 and x3 so it doesn't matter which one activates first so when this sensor is activated first it will set m0 and also y0 and then after that this sensor is activated so this is the decision portion which checks that which sensor was activated first whether m0 was activated first or m1 if a person is entering into a room so it means that first M0 will be activated so what it will do it will jump to this portion and it will affect only M2 and M3 and Y2 it will leave this portion because M0 is activated first so when M2 is set and then after that when it is activated then M4 is set So as you can see M2 and M4 will be high and when you when you pass through the uh, reset sensor it will also set the M3 so M2 M3 and M4 will be high what it will do it will uh, high M23 coil so when this is high it will increment and this one cycle is completed so when the person enter into a room the reset uh, sensor will be activated and it will reset all these coils and it will be ready for the next operation so when the reset sensor is activated during this time the value that is stored in R1 will be moved to R10 and then after that we will be doing some comparison that whether the value which is stored in R0 is greater than or equal to so if A is equal to B M10 will be will be a high so if M10 is high the Y3 room light it will it, it will high so if A is greater than B M, M11 will, will be high so when M11 will be high, it will just turn on the light. And when A is less than B, M12 will be high. So when M12 gets high, it will turn on the alarm. So now let's upload this program and uh, let's see how it works so now let's upload this program PLC online now the PLC is connected okay run PLC yes okay now these are the four sensors now this is also this is a sensor which is connected with the reset and this is also a reset sensor this is x0 and this is x1 now we will check how it works so the, currently we have a value of 7 
Now let's see how it works. So now I'm entering into a room. So first of all, the reset sensor is activated. And then after that, X0 and then X1. And you can see and then the reset and now its value is 7. Now again, I'm entering into a room that is 8. Now another person is entering and there is 9. For example, if I am leaving the room, so I will go through this reset sensor, then this one, this one, and this one. As you can see, it's X8. So, seven. Now, let's d discuss those situations. For example, I am entering into the room and now I'm standing here and I decide to go back so as you can see it's not doing anything and for example I am again I'm entering into a room and now I crossed also another sensor but at this point I decide to go back so when I go back it's set to the old value now I'm entering into the room And now it's okay if I leave the room. And as you can see, the room light is the room light is on because right now there are six persons in the room. Let's empty the room and let's see what happens. And as you can see there is no abnormal operation so as you can see now y3 is the room light is off because there is no no one in the room so now if there is someone entering into the room the light will turn on As you can see there is no abnormal operation and if I'm leaving the room for example and, and right now I'm standing here and I decide to go back so as you can see nothing is happening so as you can see like I'm leaving the room I cross this sensor and this this one so it's it decremented the value to R4 but actually then I decide to go back so when I go back so it's set to the previous value and if I directly leave the room or directly enter into the room it just works in a normal way so that's it thanks for watching